Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a review of another lapel microphone. And it's this one right here from Pop Voice. And hopefully the camera, there you go, it's focused in now. Now this is a battery operated lapel microphone. More on that in just a moment. You do get some nice things in the box as well. You get a nice little carry pouch to just cinch cinch up like that um, and on the inside you do get some instructions which is normal and then you get a nice little pouch of goodies one of the first things you get with this is a big adapter so you can put this like a, say like in an amplifier or a PA system so if you're using this microphone to give uh, presentations or something of that nature and you're using like an amplifier and or a um, PA system you can plug it into that with a quarter inch jack they also give you a spare clip right there so in case the clip breaks you know the thing that you clip onto your shirt use to clip onto your shirt you so you get a spare one of those and you get a spare little uh, sponge wind muff or spit shield as they're sometimes referred to. Now the microphone itself is right here and it's quite a bit actually but this is the actual microphone right here and it already comes with a clip on it plus the foam windscreen so you're getting two windscreens and two clips and if this is too big for you the foam windscreen you can take it off and it does come down to a nice little size there you put that over there this is the battery compartment right here and if you notice uh, the wording right here on top it says camera and then this will say off smartphone more on that in just a moment and on the back of the compartment right there you can see a little clip so you can clip it in your pocket or onto your shirt or maybe some suspenders or a belt now they give you a lot of cable on this it's like 26 feet long for this uh, cable which is really good because once again if you're giving presentations you might need that extra length in there so you can maybe walk around a little bit gives you a little bit more freedom so you don't have to be standing so close to say the amplifier or mixing board or something of that nature so that's pretty nice you also get right here is like a little cable tidy it's a velcro type so if you don't need all that uh, length of cable you can just kind of wind it up and use the cable tidy and that's the part that goes into your camera or smartphone or if you're going to use the adapter it's a three and a half millimeter plug more on that in a moment as well and of course you know they just give you your basic little twist tie for the upper part of the microphone now the way to put the battery in you simply unscrew it and put the battery in and that's the battery right there a little button cell now this button cell is an LR44 or as we have it here in America it's the AG13 button cell you can get those almost anywhere heck even places like the dollar stores like Dollar Tree they sell the AG13 and they're pretty cheap and you can find them almost anywhere now you can the one good thing about this not only can i use it on my panasonic g6 that i'm using to record this with right now but i can also use it with a smartphone and i will be giving you a demonstration of that uh, very shortly i'm going to first plug this microphone into my panasonic g6 give you i'm going to talk a little bit and then what i'm going to do is i'll here I'm going to pause the video and switch out with my uh, Galaxy S7 and then I'm going to have this plugged into my Galaxy 
S7 smartphone and talk a little bit more so you can see how this can work on both. Now, if you did notice that the three and a half millimeter plug does have three little black rings and might lead you to believe that it's a TRRS uh, system. But what I noticed is I was just kind of playing around and experimenting with it. I put on my adapter to turn this from a TRRS down to a TRS. Didn't work in my camera. So I said, okay, that's kind of strange. So I followed the instructions. I went ahead and just plugged it straight into my Panasonic G6, made sure the switch was turned to camera and it worked beautifully. Then I said, okay, well, if that worked, let's put it in my S7 and see what happens. Turn this to off or the smartphone section, plugged it into my phone, did a real quick test on it, worked beautifully. So I have no complaints there. The only thing I'm going to say about this is with my Panasonic G6 here, right now what you're listening to is I have the camera recording level set at one for this microphone, the Rode microphone. I had to turn this up to three, or wait, let me rephrase that. When I plugged the pop voice microphone into my Panasonic G6, I actually had to turn the recording level up to three on my camera. Okay, so right now what you're hearing is the new pop voice lapel microphone or lavalier microphone going into the Panasonic G6 with actually my recording level. I was wrong in the first part of the video. It's actually set at level number four. So I'm really hoping that you can, or that this is a really good audio example on how good or, and maybe even your opinion, how bad this lapel microphone is. Personally, I really like the microphone and I highly recommend it. All right, once again, this is the Pop Voice lapel microphone plugged into my Panasonic G6. The next video sample coming up will be the Pop Voice lapel microphone plugged into my Samsung Galaxy S7. Okay, so right now, this audio example or video demonstration is of the pop voice lapel microphone going into my Samsung Galaxy S7 smartphone. And yes, this is my Panasonic G6 that I normally use to uh, record my videos with. So right now, I do hope that this is giving you a very good example of how good and how versatile this pop voice lapel microphone really is. For me, it's definitely worth every penny to get, especially since I have the added benefit of having 26 feet of cable in case I decide to film a little bit, say something outdoors and I wanna be farther away from the camera, I got that little extra flexibility. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video on all of your social media and if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It really would mean a lot if you would. And please don't forget to hit that little bell you see over there for notifications. So when a new video comes out, you get a notification when my next video comes out. And until the next video, you have a fantastic day.